gonna put the So I'm just going to go through what I just did then, um, just put the white on, then the brightest pink and now I'm just going to intensify the pink again here. There are tiny bits of white in there but this is actually, um, make sure you get this the right shape. So I'll just go over that, that line if it's not quite right. Although it looks nice, it's it's more bluey in here because there's it's going in, so it goes darker. It's darker at the top just here because it's going in and back. And this is why this is quite darker and bluey because obviously it's going darker and back. So we need to make that more bluey. So we've got that little patch going across here like that which is almost, you could say a straight line, just, just do a straight line from now. Then some light pinky area, just kind of here. Small little white bits actually, um, tiny little pink, pink lines. Just go around like that. And then because the chin is coming out and round these bits here are more white see they're more white because they're at the front and that's whiter because it's got more light on it so all those kind of things will help it look real if you if you just copy what you see and really really look you can't really go far wrong so that's quite dark and keep those dark bits in there And then I've got a lovely couple of white patches here. So I'm not just drawing them in a, as a patch, I'm just doing them with lines. This is nice. Just there. Very light down here. So we'll put a bit more white on here, because that needs to be a bit yellow there. And I've just put a touch of yellow there already. So I'll just go over it again. So yeah, just get rid of this, this line here for now, because you can go over the top of that in lovely white. Just get his arm, his rough in, his white bit of his rough. And so we want the lemon for this bit here. colour. Don't worry about the hairs for now, we just need to we need just to get it get it in there. Because we can go over that with darker streaks and that'll make it look like hair. So there we are. And that is a bit warmer there. Pinky in there. See, I've done it slightly pink. And let's just remind us what happened with the yellow. So, what you can do is you can have a practice. So, if you've got, um, let's try a bit here. So, if you've got white on as your base, let's see what happens. Then you put the yellow on, le the lemony yellow, just glazing it so you can still see the white off underneath really. And then a bit of pink over the top. Um, let's just see what happens there. That's a, yeah, it reminds me of um, strawberry and cream ice cream. It's just softer, isn't it? Just 
And then what I think you put on, more intense it'll go. It's more of a brownie colour, isn't it? A brownie pink, which is, it's going to come in useful, I think, that brownie pink. So I'm just going to remind myself what I did here. So that's 101, I think. Then you put the 102 on. I'll do it in the colour. This is why these bits on the side are so helpful, because you can work out colours. 191, and you can keep these as well. For further pictures, just cut them off after and just keep them. And they'll be useful reminder. You could just put a note on what picture you use them for. That's quite a good idea. Right, so we're going to try and get a more bluey effect in there. So. Well, to start with, um, just try that over, that pinky bit there. This is just pink, white and pink. Do that, you can see it's, it's quite good actually, look. It's making it more, more mauvey looking. And streaks through it. It's giving it a kind of bluey look, which is what we want. Now, if we did the dark, before putting the dark colour on, just try it out. So we've got, got the right. I'm just looking at getting the colour right here now. So it's just white and pink in there. And then we've got the, the pink, the lightest pink. The white just takes the intensity off it. And then we'll try the dark blue. So this is the light blue. We'll, we'll mark it on there in a minute. Just put streaks through. Yeah, see it's much darker. That's probably more appropriate for what we want here because we want it to look like it's going back. Back and in. So darker is good. So this is... Again, that was the pink on top. That was 191. I don't know all the colours. I've not been used to, um, you, you know, going by colours, colour by number type things. But really I just go for it and try things out. Um, I've usually got the exact colour that I would, I would use there. So I really wouldn't be mixing. But as I said yesterday, I've really enjoyed the mixing. It's really good. It, you really learn a lot more, actually. So we're going to put the dark colour on there. Um, so very, 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 very lightly because this is quite strong. So I'm just touching it really. Go right through there. So just make sure we've got the line right here. So that's coming up like that. And then it's kind of coming around like that. There's a little... It comes there. That's perfect. And then this side is softer so it's dark and the, the white hairs go over it well they're not white are they they're creamy so we're going to be using the two colors there we'll use white and the yellow so very very gentle and i want to really concentrate on getting this line right here And you can measure, see there's a little point there, you can measure where that little point is on his nose and then make sure that you get it just right. So that's about the right area and then we're going across there like that and then down. Do you remember we put that little notch in? That notch is, is just a hair but it's the shadow under it. Just make it there nice and clear so you can see it. And then from there it goes down. Like that. And we've got a bluey, a bluey look in here. And this is, this is a blue, blue area here. And we've got a couple of lines, nice lines that come down like that. And then we've got some 
the draw to prevent some coming up like that. Then this is coming. Just kind of picking out some main lines in here. As you can see, it's not ultra sharp this, but it's not really necessary at the moment. But because we want to get that bluey look to the pink, we're just going to put, put it in here now. Just there's a couple of little darker patches. much wider. We just need the blue in the top here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now before I blend that with a colour shaper, I'm going to try just putting the pink over that again. Yeah, just see what happens there. So we're blending it really with the pink, with the pink, uh, the bright pink pencil. So this is the um, 191, yeah, that we just used. So we're using the same colours but in a, a different order. But it is giving me the, the kind of colour that I want really. It gives it like that mauvey, much darker colour. And we'll go over this bit here. Darker there. We'll go over these. Very, very gently. I'm just blending this with the pink, that's all. So instead of using the colour shape, we're just using this. White again, I'm going to make that a bit lighter. But just putting streaks through it so it's not heavy. And you can still see the lines, you can still see the different colours in there even though the white's gone over again because these pastels are quite hard they don't really blend together like a lot of pastel but for doing something like this for doing hairs fur they are really are ideal really good but I'm still doing this very lightly I'm just doing it till I'm I'm happy with the way it looks really. Just want to get, you know, I want some lines in there. And here, I do, I really do want to get these little, these little lines coming up here like this. See they're going across here. They're curling around and in and that makes it look more round it makes his chin look more round get some you know get some lines in there with the pink give it a bit of definition this is looking a little bit too strong here so I'll just go over it with the pink just soften it all and then just make that a bit lighter just go over 
look to me how good is it? Just liking it. Just circular. Paler white there. Mm, just makes such a difference. These little tiny bits that you put in just make such a difference. And yeah, that looks a bit dark. I'll just lighten it up a bit. Just want to keep that definition in there. Okay, right, well. I'll see how that looks, I think, tomorrow, but I think it looks like we, we, we need some whiter patches in here. So I could put those in again. The marvellous thing about this paper is, look, you could just put them in again. As long as you haven't pressed hard, you can, you know, keep, keep doing this through happy with it. Just being very careful to get the line of these white bits in. That's a bit of a bit of a little curly wavy bit there, and then another bit underneath there. And just tap it. Oh, you know, I'll just see how that looks. This needs to be there, but it needs to be. There is a bit more of a, a nice pinkness to it, nice freshness here, which I'll put in again. A bit of fresh bit there. We'll leave his chin now and just get this bit in here. Get that bit right. It's looking a bit dark at the moment, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna sharpen my white. Just gonna leave. Here I come. You can hear me coming a mile off with these blooming insoles in. <laughs> Great to come back and see see that, have a quick look at it. I'll have a look at it tomorrow. Uh, the other thing I noticed was this bit here in the dark in the dark light um, yesterday wasn't bright enough. You know, I could see it in the picture here, but I couldn't see it here. Um, it's partly due to the fact this is a, a, a satin sheen and this is not got to try and get a shiny look with just the colour. It wasn't light enough so I'm, I'm, I've lightened that a bit and I'll put a bit more green at the bottom there because uh, yeah this green at the bottom will make it will make it look a bit lighter because it's quite dark. That's it. These sharp point dries, unless it's a first layer of colour. If it's a first layer of colour, then uh, if it's a first layer of colour, then um, yeah, always very very gentle and pencil on the side on the eyes. Okay, right. So we're gonna try and get some hairs through here now. Again, extremely light. Um, if you do it extremely lightly, you can see that the hairs are very, extremely fine. 
Right now, or as thin as a hat. Just keeping a close eye on this. It's quite light, isn't it? By where it meets the pink. Do the hairs over the end of um, her, her cheek here because I just want to make sure that the colour's right tomorrow when I look at it again. And if I'm happy with it, I'll do it. I'll do it then. Because um, no point in doing it and then having to make all that darker again. Because um, once you've done it, that's it. That's going to be it. Uh, so you need to make sure that that's dark enough under there and that your white hairs are going to really show up nicely but you see the hairs are coming across here they're actually going in that direction down down and then across and these are all coming down so we can't really do that yet we can do these little bits on the edge here um, I don't really do that yet. Uh, keeping these colours here, put the hairs over them. And then here, that's going down there a bit. Whiten that up a bit. You can just see this this patch, this blue patch is it's a bit lighter here, and it's it's a bit lighter here. Just there, just lighten that up a bit, and just soften up that corner. That's enough for that, and we'll, we'll check the colours tomorrow. Just go over these little pink bits very, very gently because we want to keep them in, but they're quite subdued. Um, I haven't put the blue over those yet, but I just want to keep it looking pretty, really. Um, you know, because yeah, they are kind of bluey, but. That's only because it's kind of on the darker side, his face, her face. Now we've got a totally different colour here. So let's just try and get this in place for a bit. White on first. Any dark areas that you can see like that, just leave those. Leave them dark on the paper. Any nice white lighter hairs coming down there you can do just don't go over the edge yet like i said but yeah this is much better lit this side you can see a lot more going on there and do although it's darker you want white on that base so when you put the other colors in to just give it that definition um they'll really show This little pad here, I'm looking at where that comes on his eye. 
just about there. Yeah, okay. So I'm looking at that now. Okay, so that's about there. So that needs to come over a little bit, this one, this one. Just about there. And check. That's what I've learned. You can guess it and then check it. I used to get a ruler out. I used to actually get a ruler out all the time to measure these details. And um, I was just told uh, that's, that's, not, that's not necessary. Don't do that. You measure against other things on your picture. And I thought, oh, just so much easier and quicker. And um, yeah, so there's, there's a good tip for you. Just measure against your picture. Just looking at the shape of this, it's kind of going up, straight up here, then it's coming up here. Um, it's not straight across it, you've got your angle in already from just, you know, putting the lines in when you did your trace down. So, you know, this is why it makes it so easy and quick. You've got your lines there ready. This is just the colouring in stage with a bit more detail added. got the direction of the, the hairs. They don't have to be super fine at this point. These are just like the white clumpy bits that you can see or the lighter clumpy bits that you can see in these little whiskery areas. This is where the whiskers come out from. Now it's coming down a bit there and I'm going to measure that because that's an important feature. So that where it comes down there is just on the end of his pupil. So we'll just measure it. Okay. So that's that's kind of come in there. That's about right. But then it's going up here. So you've got a line coming up at that that direction. So I'll pop that in. This, this bit here is coming a lot lower down here. I'm going to measure that. So that's coming. Make sure your pencil looks straight. It's coming just inside his eye. Just about there. So that can come even down a bit there. And it is quite square, see? If you just do that, that angle there, that's what it is. And that looks a bit thick there now, doesn't it? But don't worry about that, we can we can change it. Just bring that wide across. following our trace on line now and it's coming down like that okay so that's coming up here and then that is kind of like that really level with that level with the inside of that This, this patch here. Like that. Then this is coming out like that. And again, just make sure that it's okay. Yeah, that's just on the outside of her, her eye. Just, just about there. That's okay. And then
try that, that little line's down there that's it exactly right there and then it's going up into the grey area and that okay there it is I'll put a bit of colour in there I think Put dark grey in there, I think, rather than just, just put this over it first. Just little colours. And then we're going to have the sort of yellow rusty effect in here. And then we've got the, we've got a bit of lightness. coming well inside. See where the blue comes down? That's got to come like that. That mark there. Like that. And then it's coming up here. Let's just level with this bit here. That's right. And then it's coming out here. where the blue fits in there. So we've got, that's where the blue fits in. Then that's coming, the edge of that little creamy patch is coming just on the outside of his ear. Just about there. Looks right. got these in really just as they do them that's kind of coming out more at an angle like that darken that all um, we've got some light patches in there but there's a lot of lots of lightness then really we've got a very important bit here look we've got a bit that comes out on the edge of this patch here and under this patch here, just there, it's coming out like that. And it's really almost horizontal. So just put it in, just about there. Um, so we've got all aligned now. That's where his little cheek ends. That's got to come out a bit further. too far. It's too far. Let's just put that. Let's put that in a bit. Just put that in there. And then that's coming down. It's coming down here. So we've got another little Put this bit in here. Now, do you remember this was 
slightly, we measure it again. So I'm looking at that there is a, we've got to try and keep this, be aware of this line coming up through here, just there. So we're, I'm looking at that line, when I go across like that, I get it dead, dead in line. When I go across like that, across the page, put it in line with that. Um, I'm looking at where that ends there. So it's right, right on the pencil there, and that is a little bit higher. This is a little bit higher than the pencil. So if that's going to be, that line is going to be there, and that's dead on the line there, that's a little bit higher. That's, that's okay. That's good. Then the, the mark is coming just kind of there. So we've got these whiskers coming through at an angle there. They're all coming through like that straight. Just look at how far that is away from there. is kind of there and then it kind of carries on up here but it's quite low it's quite low in the in the featuring there I'm just gonna put that line in with a bit of the the rusty the rusty kind of come up going to put on the um, lemon yellow to make it more creamy. Very slight, very, very slightly. That's it, just, just go for it, just rub it over on the side. Just warm it up a little bit with the mustard colour. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting some lines in with this as well. Very, very gentle though. Then, as you can see, you've got some darker lines in here, and that'll give the definition of the hairs. Those darker lines, I think that's, we'll just use dark grey for that. Um, I need to sharpen this up though, I think. I won't, won't be long, I'll just do this. Okay, right, yeah. So, I 
I can see straight away that this this little patch is looking a lot smaller than this. Um, his eye, his bits that are going across here, uh, just need to come over a bit. I think. Even though we've measured it, see, we've just got to, just got to keep keep a check on that. Just keep a check on it. This is very thick here, but we can thin it out with, with these lines. Yeah. So I've just kind of used that same kind of line coming in, which is it's kind of there on the other side, but it looks totally different. But it, that's what it is. Just darken that little rusty bit again. So yeah, teeny little lines, very, very fine. Just very, very fine. And there's some lines coming down like that on the very edge. It just shows this Just look a bit dark around that line there. That's pinky in there. So we're gonna we're gonna put that orange on first because it's come out quite a good colour actually with putting the grey over that. It's quite good. now shaping these little bits to get them just how you like. Some darker patches in there. There's quite a dark patch in there, like a little spot actually. That's a bit too dark there. That needs to be a bit lighter. Just lighten that up now while I think about it. Needs to be quite defined, but not too, not too light. This is a bit lighter. These little patches are lighter than the little lines coming through here. They're actually a bit thick. That's that's quite sufficient. Okay, so we've got our grey lines in, just to give. There's not much grey line going through here. Let's kind of more up into it, just like that. Rusty colour on over there. So that's the rusty colour over the dark grey. So that's the 186, that rusty. 
Namaste. put some grey, little grey patches in there, just little dots really, little darker patches and just makes it look a bit more, gives it a bit more depth and puffiness by darkening those. Just tap it, tap over it, don't rub it, just tap it. Now we're going to brighten it up again with white. Um, I'm going to put some key lines in again here as light. Uh, be quite a bit more strong with these lines. This works well actually if you want to do some stronger whiskers. Um, kind of pushing upwards is quite good. Just depends what kind of a whisker you're after. Just want these to show up a bit more. Uh, they're very fine on here, but I'm just kind of interpreting these as these little like as little clumps really. needs to be darker in there. Just in. Now it's just coming up here. When we're sure about this colour, I'll just do some little very fine ones over the very edge of it. These, they are kind of light, um, kind of go in that direction, little pads. Like that. Now 
closeness. Yeah, that's coming through there. I love that. Yeah, the pads. One's coming across there. Okay, I'm going to leave that for today. I'm going to start on this bit here next. This bit here. And take another look at this. I think it looks okay actually. Right, I'm going to switch off the video. So bye for now and um, see you on the next episode. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you can see it all nice and clearly. And um, yeah, here I am. Hope you can see it nice and clearly and the light was good enough. Um, but don't forget you can zoom in on the phone, just do that. Um, just, you know, with your mouse, zoom in and you should get a good, really good picture. Because I've focused it on her face for you. So the focus should still always be on that. We'll make it nice and, make it nice and um, uh, sharp. Okay then, see you soon.